So here is the set we did. This is Long Sculpted Coffin with a pink number three and gel polish number 70, which is one of the original colors that we launched here at InnoCouture.com almost eight years ago. Can you believe that? So we're gonna go in with the new Russian manicure drill bit set and we're going to begin to clean out the cuticle, all the customer nasties. It is no joke. The only problem is that hiring people. Like I said earlier today, that one restaurant um, it, that we were going to go to for breakfast because we went to um, ended up going to Blackberry Diner, which is Lucy loves it. I don't really care for it, but I mean, it was for Lucy, so we went there. I originally wanted to go to this place that they opened up here called Toast 101, which is supposed to be like this really cool restaurant. They're closed. I'm sorry. They're closed until further notice because they can't staff it. And then McDonald's is paying like these huge like hourly salaries because they can't get people to work. And then, oh, I actually fired two people because I'm gonna rant you guys. As you guys already know, it is customary for enocouture.com that we open on Thanksgiving Day because we work half day because of the amount of orders that we have for our Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale, which is basically a week almost because it starts Thanksgiving Day and it ends Cyber Monday at midnight. And because we have such a huge amount of order and volume of sales, two girls that used to work here ganged up on me and didn't want to come into work and they were trying to convince everybody else that works here to not come in. And I was not having it. I was very, very upset. I'm going to pre-blend in the cuticle too so that way it's thinner. Because what happens if we don't come in on Thanksgiving Day for at least even a few hours to make fill-in orders is that we're delayed more and more and more and that's what we do not want. Especially because the amount of volume of sales that we get here at Inocouture.com, we need to be able to accommodate. And the worst thing is that when we hire you here at Inocouture.com, we tell everybody, do you have any problem working weekends? Do you have any problem working holidays? Do you have any problem uh, doing overtime? No, 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 of course not. I don't have any problems. And then one is like, oh, I just found out now that my, my uh, daycare is closed tomorrow. What a surprise. I'm like, no, a daycare will let you know way in advance when they're closing. They don't let you know 10 hours before. So what? What's everybody say? <laughs> exactly, it is. That's the real pandemic now. And then we had another guy that he quit because uh, he said I was bullying him because I told him that he was making way too many mistakes. In, four, in two days, he sent out 14 orders wrong and I was like, yo, dude, that's not okay because at the end of the day, the person whose reputation gets tarnished is not you because nobody knows who you are. It's me and my company. Go ahead and take that. We'll do one minute. And then the next day, no call, no show. Two days in a row. So I've got to send him a letter. Sent him a little letter of termination. Horrible. What is wrong with people nowadays? And because we're short staffed and we can't hire, that we're not going to do our class in Orlando, which breaks my heart because there's nothing I look forward to more in January than going to Florida. Yeah, I think I got one of those packages. Yeah, customer service was awesome. We try our best, but you know, it's if the person that's packing the order, all you have to do is read what you're packing. Like, for example, there's the word vegan, right? We have lots of vegan brushes. They'll get whichever vegan brush they want, and they'll send that to the customer, and the customer gets mad, and they blame me, or they blame, you know, the company when it's not us. It's not my fault that my, you know, the person that we hired is not doing their job. And it's already like they're unsupervised after a certain time too. It's not like we, you know, set them loose right away. It's crazy. When they're being supervised, they'll do a good job and when not, they'll like send out the wrong things. And I asked them like, do you need glasses? Do you have dyslexia? Because you shouldn't be making these kinds of mistakes. And I understand that, you know, people are human. Everybody's entitled to like 
make a mistake, but 14 mistakes in two days is not okay. And to get called out for it is not being really good. Letting you know what's up. We're gonna use the verse bit to blend in the critical. Unless we can hire like 10 people that do a good job. And I'm savoring my trip to Disney World. Like, I cannot wait to go. But, with the way things are, I cannot leave the company alone. I gotta hold the fort down. And then Ignacia, she's gonna be having her baby soon. Like, in... Like about a little over a month, are you excited? Or are you just glad to finally like, get it out of you? <laughs> All at the same time. So now we're going to do a nice coat of a pink number three over the whole nail. Oh, this color by itself is just so lovely too. We're gonna bake that 30 seconds. <coughs> I think that's like when I went to Walmart. I think. ¿Cuándo fuimos a la Walmart? El lunes. We went to Walmart on Monday, you guys. I spent more time waiting in line to pay than I did shopping at the store because they were so short staffed. And that's Walmart. Mm -hmm. Did you go to the Walmart on Valencia? Uh, no, I don't have to. Why? Because it's always. Because it's always. <laughs> Sherry knows what's up with that Walmart. <laughs> My mom, she hates going to that Walmart too. But do you know that the highest grossing Walmart in the country? Is it? Yes. Oh my and it's one of the biggest in the world. Oh. I heard the biggest Walmart I think is in either in Texas or like in like Pennsylvania or like somewhere, but it's two stories. Oh really? Mm-hmm. A two-story Walmart, that is the dream. And I have to admit I like going to Walmart. But I have to be in the mood for it. But when I'm there, I go aisle through aisle. <laughs> I even go by and like check out the Power Rangers toys because I'm like, maybe I should start collecting Power Rangers toys. <laughs> We're gonna use the famous gel parts number 70, but... So, you know the brand Hasbro? For toys, oh. Hasbro? They own like My Little Pony, they oh, own Transformers. Okay. So they own Power Rangers now. Oh, okay. And before, Power Ranger toys were made by Bandai, which is oh. another toy company. So the toys that they sell in America are different from the ones that they sell in Japan now. Because they have to make their own molds for the toys. And they're actually kind of ugly. Yeah, that's so this is the frozen glitter mix set. You're going to get six different glitters, several hologram frozen glitters for the fantasy. And I'm pushing it into the wet layer of gel polish number 70. It was funny too because I was researching names for one of the, the new gel that we ended up calling bubblegum gel. I wanted to name it something like Play-Doh sounding, but Play-Doh, I heard really like if you do anything with the word play and dough, will sue you, like hard, like they'll go. They will, they, they don't play. So I was like, well there goes the idea of dough gel, or play dough gel, play gel dough. Look how pretty that is. So let's make that 30 seconds. And the smell, they trademarked and patented the smell of play dough. Oh really? So they own that smell. Isn't that crazy that someone can own a smell? So like knockoff brands of Play-Doh can't smell the same, which is gross. I hate the smell of Play-Doh. 
Oh, thank you! I appreciate that. That's really sweet of you. Do you like the smell of Play-Doh? No? Oh, it smells so weird, huh? I do like the smell of, um... Which patch dolls, though? <laughs> I, I don't even know what they smell like. They smell like a new file, actually. So now we're going in with a nice coat of the um, top gel, which is our thick hard gel top coat. Who was popular when you were young? Barbie? Probably. Polly Pocket? <laughs> Raggedy Ann? Oh, back in the day. You're like, I was playing with horses. And... Briar. What's that? What's that? Um, that makes those horses. Oh. That yeah. looked like real horses, that not like, like real horses. Mm -hmm. yeah. my little pony. Yeah. So we're gonna go in now with one coat of Wonder Gel to encapsulate everything and make sure it's nice and smooth. Really? Did you save them really well? I was thinking about doing that, is buying Power Ranger toys and saving them like in really good state. But then I've seen like videos of people going to Power Ranger conventions or toy conventions, and I mean, they're selling like old original Power Ranger toys for like 80 bucks, 100 bucks, so it's not really like, I think they cost like maybe 40 bucks, 30, 30 some bucks, so they're really not making that much off it. But I remember making my parents buy me Power Ranger toys. At the time, this was in the 90s, 40 bucks for a kid's toys back then. Yeah. That's so beautiful. So let's bake this for one minute. And we're using the Barbie Darling lamp. But yes, I made my parents work so that way they can buy a new power in <laughs> And video games were not as expensive as they are now. I think back then like 50 dollars was yeah. a lot of was a really like, a expensive yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, brand new. Yeah. And now it's like 70 bucks, 80 bucks. And if you want like a special edition game, a hundred bucks easy. That's why I buy them used. Because it's new to me. <laughs> and GameStop had a pretty good, um, like a decent sale today. I, I was going to buy the new Zelda game because I really didn't think about it for Switch. It was sold out. Really? It was like $20, $29. And everywhere else, um, like Best Buy, Walmart, uh, Amazon, it was 35 so I bought it. But they had other ones, they had like a Mario game that was like $13, and I was like, I'm gonna get that. Even though I, all, I have all these other games, I always go back to my Pokemon. <laughs> I'll play it for like five minutes, I'm like, no, give me Pokemon. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is, you guys. I'm just going in with the 240 rip file just to make sure those sides are nice and skinny mini and super straight. Dust. I'm going to apply a little bit of caramel candy and cuticle oil. Rub that in. Who are you going to pick for the winner, Sherry? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. America. America. Nikki, what? Nikki, where do you live? Let me know in the comments. Let me take this off the track in a minute.
Oh, congratulations. Where do you live, love? Look at how blended that cuticle is, too. And smooth. Easy, beautiful, shiny. North Carolina, awesome. So go ahead and email info at enocouture.com and let them know that you are today's live winner. And we're going to send you out a little prize for today. And that's going to be a wrap for today's demo, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Super fun, super quick, super easy and simple, but super effective. This design is just super classic. It never goes out of style. It is just lovely. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And don't forget that Black Friday sale, promo code BFCM2021, is good now through Cyber Monday at midnight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.